Welcome back to the course entitled Elementary Electrochemistry. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about how one can relate the EMF of a cell with the gives free energy of that particular cell. And from that, we tried to calculate the heat of uh, reaction or heat of formation of a particular substance uh, during the reaction taking place at the electrochemical cell. So today we are going to uh, learn about the <coughs> relationship between the EMF and the equilibrium constant of a given reaction. So we will discuss how the electromotive force or EMF of a cell and the equilibrium constant of the reaction is related. This relation is uh, called the Nernst equation. So, to start with, let us <coughs> consider a chemical reaction taking place. in a galvanic cell. As Pa plus Qb is in equilibrium with Rc plus Sd. So A, B, C and D are the reactants and products while where P, Q, R and S are the stoichiometric coefficient uh, required to balance the chemical reaction. So then, from the reaction isotherm, the free energy change that is the delta G of this reaction can be written as delta G equal to minus RT ln Ka plus RT sum over nu ln A where Ka is the equilibrium constant of the reaction and A is denotes the activity of the reactants and products, right? Now when all the reactants and products are in their standard state, then their activities will be unity. 
then the standard energy change which is written as delta G zero would be delta G zero equal to minus RT and then KA right so then the equation for delta G can be written as delta G zero plus RT sum over nu ln a. Now in the previous class we have seen that delta g equal to minus n f e then delta g zero would be equal to minus n f e zero where e equal to emf of the cell and e0 is the emf of the cell at standard state right so then if we replace these values for delta G and delta G zero in this equation, so one can write that minus N F E equal to minus N F E zero plus R T sum over nu L N A or E equal to E zero minus R T by N F sum over nu L N A and delta G zero which is equal to minus N F E zero is also equal to minus R T L N K A which we saw in the previous uh, <coughs> slide therefore one can write E0 equal to R T by N F L N K A or simply E0 no one can evaluate this you can convert this L N to log and write it as 2.303 RT by NF log KA. Right? We have two equations that we have got here. So, one equation is for the standard uh, EMF that is E0 of a cell in terms of uh, the equilibrium constant and the other one is the EMF of the cell in terms of the activities of the reactants when they are not in their standard state. So <coughs> in an approximate evaluation of Ka one can use Kc in place of Ka that is <coughs> the equilibrium constant in terms of concentration and activity terms can be replaced by the 
corresponding concentration terms that is small c right so now if you try to evaluate this 2.303 rt by f at 298 kelvin this turns out to be 0.0591 volts okay taking faraday number as 96500 r at its standard unit and temperature in kelvin one can evaluate the value of this uh, constant as 0.0591 uh, volts so then one can write at 25 degree centigrade e0 of a cell is nothing but 0.0591 by n log ka and e equal to e0 minus 0.0591 by n sum over new log a and also one can write e equal to we replace e0 by that expression 0.0591 by n log ka minus 0.0591 by n sum of our new log a all these are different forms of the nonst equation so then one can approximately write in terms of concentration e equal to 0.0591 by n log kc minus 0.0591 by n sum over new log c right so now if we assume uh, we, if we try to think about a daniel cell for a daniel cell where the cell reaction is zn plus cu2 plus in equilibrium with zn2 plus plus cu one can write ka equal to activity of cu into activity of zn2 plus divided by activity of zn into activity of cu 2 plus which can be equated to activity of zn2 plus by activity of cu2 plus as the activity of pure metallic copper is equal to activity of pure metallic zinc which is assumed to be equal to 1 so using this assumption that the activity of pure elements pure substances is always 1 one can eliminate them uh, and write this expression as ka equal to activity of zn2 plus plus uh, divided by activity of copper 2 plus right so now if you try to calculate the corresponding e0 value for <coughs> this cell one can write e0 equal to rt by nf ln ka or 
equal to 0 0.0591 by 2 that is the charge of the cation log Ka and we know the E0 for Daniel cell is 1.1 volt. So using that 1.1 volt as its standard EMF is equal to 0 0.0591 by 2 log Ka. So from this one can calculate the value of Ka equal to 1.7 into 10 to the power 37 which essentially means that activity of Zn2 plus by activity of copper 2 plus is nothing but 1.7 into 10 to the power 37 or one can write that activity of Zn2 plus is equal to 1.7 into 10 to the power 37 activity of Cu2 plus. Right? So like this one can do some simple uh, calculations based on the EMF and one can calculate the equilibrium constant and from that one can calculate the ratio of activities of the corresponding constituents. So based on this I would like to give you one uh, assignment or one problem for you to try. Calculate the equilibrium constant of the reaction H2 plus Cl2 in equilibrium with 2 HCl if the EMF of the corresponding cell is 1.01 volt and also write down the cell with appropriate Tanks and the electrodes. Okay. So this is one of the problems that you should try to solve at home. This will help you in understanding the uh, subject and uh, basics in the, uh, uh, properly. So now I would like to start discussing about different types of electrodes because as you have already seen there are types of electrodes where one gas is involved like hydrogen gas somewhere you have a metal and metal ion electrode and so on so based on the uh, type and nature of uh, constituents nature of chemicals used to, uh, to form an electrode there are uh, several different uh, types of uh, electrodes And these are called types of single electrodes. As you all know that a galvanic cell must have two electrodes. namely 
cathode and anode. Each of these electrodes are called the half cell or a single electrode and depending on the uh, type and nature of its uh, constituents of the chemicals that are used there are several types of such electrodes so let us try to uh, understand some of those one by one the first one is a metal metal ion electrode so here what you can easily understand that this electrode consists of a particular metal in equilibrium with its uh, cation. So, in this type of electrodes, a metal is used as an electrode in connection with in connection with its ions that is cations so when a metal rod is uh, dipped in a solution of uh, its cation, then the combination is called the metal metal ion electrode. Some examples are silver, silver plus electrode, where the reaction is silver is in equilibrium with Ag plus plus one electron. Similarly, copper, copper 2 plus, where the reaction is Cu metal is in equilibrium with Cu 2 plus and 2 electrons. And there can be amalgam electrodes where you have lead amalgam with Pv2 plus. So the reaction at the electrode is lead amalgam is in equilibrium with PV2 plus plus two electrodes, two electrons. So these are examples of metal metal ion single electrodes. Each of these single electrodes will have their own standard electrode potential and that standard electrode potential can be easily determined from the corresponding, <coughs> from the measurement using a potentiometer using standard hydrogen electrode or using standard uh, calomel electrode. So like this there are other single electrodes which we will discuss uh, in the next uh, class. Thank you.